Hi children, now we are going to see the topic Atoms and Molecules in 10th Science. In Atoms and Molecules, already you have learnt in lower classes. We are surrounded by many matters. What is matter? For example, see, I am having a duster. This duster is a kind of matter. This duster has a mass and occupies some space. So from this understanding, we can understand what matter is nothing but anything that occupies space and has weight is called as matter. Already you learned in lower classes. Can you remember? Now, that matter, that duster is also a kind of matter. That matter is made up of small atoms. That matter is made up of what? Small atoms. Then, what is atom? The idea of atom, we can learn from Greek philosopher in 5th century. Who is that means? Maharishi Kanad. What he told about means, his theory, his theory is more philosophical, not scientific theory. So, scientists can't accept his theory because his theory is what? More philosophical, not scientific. What he told means Anu. That Anu, Anu Pirika Mudiyadu, he told. Magarishi Kanad told in 5th century about that atom. But who told, who was told, who told about atom, scientific theory. Who told about atom of scientific theory means John Dalton. Here see the picture of John Dalton. He was an English chemist, physicist and metrologist. He is the best known for introducing the atomic theory. He only told about the atomic theory scientifically. So he was called as a father of atomic theory. Who was called as father of atomic theory? John Dalton called as a father of atomic theory. Now, who on to atom. He, that John Dalton took that atom word from Greek language atomus, which means indivisible. Indivisible means we can't separate. We can't separate. He gave some postulates. That postulates are called John Dalton's postulates. But few postulates of John Dalton's theory were found incorrect by the later research done by some scientists. What are, who are they means? J.J. Thompson, Rutherford, Scodinger, Niels Bohr. So, these done as research may form a, a new theory. They removed the incorrect theory of John Dalton theory. They form a new theory. That theory is known as modern atomic theory. That theory is known as what? Modern atomic theory. Are you able to follow students? Now, so we are going to see the what are the postulates of modern atomic theory. We are having seven points in modern atomic theory. What are they means? First point, an atom is no longer indivisible. What in Dalton period, John Dalton period, what they considered means atoms are indivisible particles. That way, that, that is, atom, that word is taken from Greek language, atomus, which means indivisible. But later research, it is not a indivisible particles, it is a divisible particles. After the discovery of proton, electron and neutron, what are they? Proton, electron, neutron, these are all called as subatomic particles because these are all present in an atom. So, we can understand from this atoms are divisible particles. In John Dalton period, what they told, what he told, atoms are indivisible particles. But after research, we conclude atoms are divisible particles. After the discovery of proton, electron and neutron. What is proton? You have to know all these. Already we studied in 9th standard. Now, I am again, I am going to remember. Proton is a positive charge particle. That electron is a negative charge particle. Neutrons are neutral particles. Where they present means protons and neutrons are present in the center of the atom. That center of the atom is called as a nucleus. Who discovered that nucleus means Rutherford discovered that nucleus. The nucleus contains protons and neutrons. That what is nucleus? Nucleus is nothing but center part of the atom. Then where electrons present? Electrons are present in the out of the nucleus. They revolve around the nucleus like solar system. Sun is the center, 
all the planets are revolving around the sun. Like that, all the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. Nucleus is a center. Nucleus contains what particles? Protons and neutrons. Electrons are revolving. The path of the electron is known as orbit or shell or energy levels. So you can know about that. What is the first point? Atom considered as a divisible particles. See it is written like this. Atom is no longer indivisible after the discovery of proton, electron, neutron. Then move on to second point. <coughs> What is the second point? Atoms of the same element may have different atomic mass. Atoms of the same element may have different atomic mass. So you should know the atomic mass. What is atomic mass? So these also studied in 9th standard. See, we have to know atomic number then atomic mass. What is atomic number? That atomic number is denoted by letter Z. What is atomic number? The number of protons are electrons. That number is called as an atomic number. Then what is atomic mass? That atomic mass is otherwise known as mass number. What is mass number? Mass number is nothing but that the nucleus contains protons and neutrons. No, the total number of protons and neutrons are called a mass number. It is otherwise called as an atomic mass. So you should know very well. Atomic mass means the sum, sum means SUM, the sum of the protons and neutrons. That is called as atomic mass. See here, isotopes. What is isotope means? Same element. <laughs> now see, chlorine. Both the same element chlorine but the first chlorine have 17 atomic number the same 17 is the atomic number second chlorine but the first chlorine has mass number 35 second chlorine has mass number 37 same element they differ in mass number that is the second point are able to follow that is isotopes you can get another question what question means define isotope with example are able to follow students now what is the second point atoms of the same element may have different atomic mass now move on to third point atoms of different elements may have same atomic mass see example isobars what is isobars different here isotope means same element but isobars means a different elements one is argon other one is calcium Organ has atomic number 18, but calcium has atomic number 20. Different atomic number, but same atomic mass. Both elements are different. One is argon, other one is calcium. But they are having 40 atomic mass. That is the third point. What is the third point? Atoms of different elements may have same atomic mass. This is a clue. You have to remember easily. What the clue means? Second point, same element, different atomic mass. Third point, different element same atomic mass so you can remember easily are able to follow students then move on to fourth point atoms of one element can be transmuted into atoms of other element we are having artificial after the discovery of artificial method atoms can neither be created nor destroyed but one form of atom can be changed into other form so here what we can use that artificial transportation we can change one element atoms of one element into atoms of other element that is the fourth point are able to follow that four points students then move on to <coughs> fifth point what is that means atoms may not always combine in a simple whole number ratio may not always combine in a maybe simple whole number or may not simple that is a understanding from that point example two example is given one is glucose the molecular formula for glucose is C6H12O6 what is the ratio of carbon hydrogen oxygen in glucose means six carbon present 12 hydrogen present six oxygen present so there is the ratio of carbon hydrogen oxygen in glucose is 6 is to 12 is to 6 it is simplified by dividing 6 we are getting 1 is to 2 is to 1 that is a simple ratio then another example given sucrose what is the molecular formula for sucrose is c12 h22o11 what are the elements present carbon hydrogen oxygen like glucose like glucose 
So, what is the ratio of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in sucrose means 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, 11 oxygen. So, ratio is 12 is to 22 is to 11. This is not a simple whole number. That point, the atoms may not always combine. May be simple or may not simple. So, atoms may not always combine in a simple whole number ratio. Two example given, one is glucose, other one is sucrose. Are able to follow children? Now, Move on to next point. <coughs> Atom is the smallest particle that take part in a chemical reaction. Which element, which is taking part in a chemical reaction means atoms only can talk, take part in a chemical reaction. Atoms combine together to form a molecule that is a compound. We are getting compound. So, atom only involved in the reaction. So, that is the point. Atom is the smallest particle that takes part in a chemical reaction. Then move on to last point. <coughs> What does that mean? The mass of an atom can be converted into energy. What does this mean? Means here all the reaction must obey one law. What is that law? Means a law of conservation of mass. Who told that law? Means Antony Lavoisier told that law. What is that law? Can you remember? You studied in A standard itself. That law is nothing but the total mass of the reactant will be equal to the total mass of the product. But in nuclear reaction, what happened means the mass of the product will not be equal to the mass of the reactant. What happened? The disappeared mass. That disappeared mass is converted into energy. So we can calculate the mass as energy using the equation E is equal to mc square. This equation, whose equation? Very great scientist, Albrecht Einstein equation. We are using that equation in nuclear reaction to find out the mass. It is a converted as energy. To calculate energy, what? That mass is converted now using that equation e is equal to mc square. Here Albrecht Einstein, he was a German born theoretical physicist who developed a great theory. What the theory means? Relativity theory. For that day, he got a Nobel Prize. Are able to follow students? What is E is equal to mc square? What is E? E is nothing but energy. M is nothing but mass. C is nothing but velocity of light. So C is a constant value. We have to know there, we have to calculate energy using mass and a constant value C. So these are all the seven points present in the modern atomic theory. This is a very, very, very important question. We are getting many times. Then move on to, uh, we are getting another question from this. Define isotopes, isobars, isotones. Already you know very well, isotopes, isobars. You have to know the isotones. What is isotones? Different element can exist with the same number of neutrons. Here, isotones. Then move on to last point. The mass of an atom can be converted into energy. We are using that equation E is equal to mc square, whose equation means Albert Einstein equation we are using. Why we are using that equation means all the reaction must obey one law. What law means? A law of conservation of mass. Who told that law means? Antony Lavoisier told that law. What is that law? The law is nothing but the total mass of the reactant will be equal to the total mass of the product. All the reaction must obey that law. But in nuclear reaction, what happened means the mass of the product will not be equal to the mass of the reactant. What happened? That mass is converted into energy. So we can calculate the disappeared mass as energy using that equation E is equal to mc square. With the great scientist Albrecht Einstein equation, he was a German born theoretical physicist who developed the great theory, very famous theory, relativity theory. For that theory, he got Nobel Price. Are able to students? Are able to follow students? I think you are very clear now. Then you are, we are getting uh, this questions is very important. Many times we are getting this question. Another question you are going to get from this part. What does that mean? Define isotopes, isobars, and isotones with example. So you know very well about isotopes. Already I told. Isobars also told. Now see isotones. What is isotones is nothing but different element 
can have same number of neutrons here carbon nitrogen example is given what is the number of neutrons in carbon means you have to subtract 6 from 13 what we are getting 7 that same 7 is coming for nitrogen also subtract 7 from 14 we are getting 7 so both elements are different but both are having the same number of neutrons this is known as isotones what students are able to follow so you are getting you are getting what question define isotopes isobars and isotones isotope is nothing but same element can exist with different atomic mass isobars is nothing but the different element can exist with the same atomic mass but isotones is nothing but the different element may have a same number of neutrons that is isotones are able to follow students are able to follow students i think uh, you are understand now i'm going to recall that point what are the parcels how many parcels are there seven parcels what is the first point atom is no longer indivisible after the discovery of proton electron neutron then what is the second point atoms of the same element may have the different atomic mass example isotopes what is the third point atoms of the different element may have the same atomic mass this is a key point to remember easily here same element different atomic mass different element same atomic mass then fourth point one element can be changed into another element by artificial transportation then fifth point atom may not always come in a simple whole number ratio two example given one is glucose other one is sucrose the ratio of hydrogen carbon hydrogen oxygen in glucose is 1 is to 2 is to 1 what is the ratio in sucrose means 12 is to 22 is to 11 this is not a simple whole number then what is the sixth point atom only can take part in a chemical reaction so atom is the smallest particle that take parts in a chemical reaction what is the last point the mass of an atom can be converted into energy we are using that great scientist albert einstein equation e is equal to mc square that's all students I, I hope you are understand very well so be safe at home don't wander here and there so see you on next class thank you students